Well, thanks for coming tonight. Um, I'm really excited to be here. And I, I met Shirley uh, about a year ago, and I was really intrigued by her story. I think it was just by chance. I think things sometimes in life happen for a reason, and I think just life just puts you together. Um, one of the things, um, before I, I uh, get started, I wanted to point out, um, before I introduce Shirley, there's a lot of important things happening in terms of our veteran community. Um, and one of the things that we're working on in San Diego, Orange County, and Los Angeles is the Community Blueprint. I don't know if anybody's heard it, it's a, a White House initiative. And what exactly that entails, it's an umbrella, if you, if you will. There's a lot of organizations out there that are helping vets, as Simon knows, and the and most of the veterans in the room have a hard, they understand the transition when we got out, and it's a hard time trying to find all that information. So what this blueprint does is actually maps out and helps navigate through that uh, system, if you will. So it's a, under this umbrella here in San Diego, we have the San Diego Veteran Coalition and also Reboot. Reboot's overseeing that here in San Diego. Orange County, they have 1OC and Veterans First, and in Los Angeles, they also have the Community Blueprint as well. I'm not sure of the organizations. Um, and I'm actually working in Orange County these days. That's why it took me a little while to get out here. Um, but under this blueprint, we're addressing things like healthcare, behavioral health, um, volunteerism, uh, veterans, military families, and not just veterans, military families. You can't forget the spouse, right? The spouse and the children. These children go through just as much as the veterans because they're traveling quite a bit as well. And when the veteran trans transitions out, the children suffer sometimes too and not going back to a new school or maybe um, hopefully not but sometimes losing their um, their mother or father so that's something that um, we are addressing as well and then also transition for the spouse and finding a job so this community blueprint is really just the community engaging and, and working together um, so if you want to learn more and how you can get involved or even um, some of the organizations you can uh, talk to me afterwards the um, Entrepreneur Bootcamp for Veterans is really important. Um, it helps uh, not just veterans, but I'm focusing, of course, on Native American veterans to start their business. Absolutely no cost to veterans. And um, the SBA here is, is good um, as well. And uh, as I mentioned, there's, I, I think, to Sherry about a Native American program, and you could probably help me out with this. I think there's something called E200. Okay, for Native, and this is something new to me. And, that, and there's actually um, a program in Fresno where I'm from, and I, I'd never heard of it. And Santa Ana, there's only two regions. Um, the, the National Office Select uh, based on Indian population, and the Santa Ana Indian Community Office Select based on Native American population. Okay. Yeah. So okay. And uh, I think that's a great program. And so once, of course, you get that education and training, you want to come to our um, AICC PTAC to get a lot of the insights on how to become certified. You know what, it, it's kind of funny is that I thought, all, because I was a woman, I'm automatically certified. Uh, I learned the hard way I wasn't. <laughs> I learned how to get certified. Um, and another thing I'd like to mention is the uh, Conservation Services Group, which works a lot with um, SDG&E. They won the, the, um, the Green Academy grant, if I'm saying that correctly. There's Green Academy classes, and these classes are typically over $100 or more. And to get a certification, you can either get them at no cost at a scholarship level, or you can get them for $15 a class. And their introduction to energy efficiency, solar, wind, solar thermal, and this is really neat because this is a grant through SDG&E, and it's actually at, at either no cost, depending on your situation, or $15. And I think it's great when you're going to an employer and say, look at the certificate, this class, and it's all online, so it's very flexible. And that's about all I have to say in, in terms of the new news and that's happening in the veteran world. And I um, want to introduce uh, Sherry, Sherry Murphy. We sat at the um, American Indian Chamber uh, Christmas event, and we're sitting there in, in the, actually it was really nice, it was a country club, wasn't it? It was something fancy. <laughs> I don't remember where my fork went and stuff. So um, I, I, uh, I met Shirley, and I don't know how we got on the topic, but so I mentioned something about, oh, I think I even mentioned I had to learn, remember where I had to use my fork, and I said I only taught, they learned, they taught this stuff in the Navy, but I forgot. And <laughs> she said, I, I was in the Navy. And I said, really? Oh, well, when? And we got into talking. And then I, I mentioned I played um, European League basketball for like a little over a year. I played basketball. So we had a lot. I mean, it was just like, my husband was there, and we didn't talk all night. We, I talked to Shirley. 
but uh, and she just, you know, took she took my attention away, and I just thought, how neat, you know, I, I'm a Native American woman and veteran, and I just don't meet a lot of Native American women veterans, and to have this beautiful woman sit next to me at dinner, it just really gives gave me goosebumps, and it's giving me goosebumps now when I'm talking about her, and and then I I got to hear more about her through Sherry, and then I read her bio, and I was like, wow, she's really amazing, and so. Um, I, I, uh, I told folks here at the museum how amazing she, she is and just a little bit that I do know about her, which you're going to hear more, she's going to uh, talk to you. They actually, they want to do a story of her here and have a, hopefully we'll get you know, this story posted and actually the museum is asking for any more Native American veterans. They'd like to do more stories. So they, they, I guess there's a shortage of that. <laughs> we need that actually. And, um, but here's uh, Shirley's bio, and I'll let her tell your story. I'll let you tell your story. Uh, Shirley Murphy is enrolled member of the Ogala Lakota tribe, Pine Ridge, North Dakota, excuse me, South Dakota, an 11-year U.S. Navy veteran. She's married to Hank Murphy from the Kumue, and they've lived together in Squan Reservation in San Diego for the past 36 years. Mr. and Mrs. Murphy are proud of their three sons, Christopher, Stephen, and Robert Murphy. Shirley has earned a Bachelor of Science in, Ling in Linguistics, I need mean that, and a Master of Science in Counseling Psychology, MA in Cultural Psychology, and, and this is coming, uh, and it looks here that you're currently enrolled in a PhD candidate for Cultural Psychology. Uh, Shirley is the president and founder of Test Bank uh, Consulting Company, a company that she founded. Uh, to conduct research and development and preservation of um, indigenous tribes' knowledge and application to educational curriculum and career counseling, community development, and life coaching practice. For more than 35 years, Shirley has demonstrated her commitment and strong advocacy uh, for quality and healthcare education and cultural sovereignty through her language and retention, renewal, and maintenance for all Native American Indian peoples. Ms. Murphy is currently serving in the community on the Grossmont Healthcare District Board. And one of the things I, I noticed here that um, she was awarded the Distinguished um, Educator of the Year Award uh, during the 28th Annual California Conference on the American Education, oh, excuse me, yes, recently, correct? And that was, uh, your, that was just recently? Oh, <laughs> recently enough. So here's Shirley Murphy.